some air. I've literally only just turned the car aircon off and I'm already starting to sweat. It's like 29 degrees apparently today. Um, but yeah, I'm only about to get hotter because I'm heading into uh, a gym, not the gym. So I'm actually at uh, what was Grow Room. So they've recently had a rebranding or they've got new ownership, whatever it is. Um, it's now not called Grow Room and it's now called Freedom Gym. So I'm here to kind of check that out and uh, see what's what because they have had a complete overhaul of the place. So um, yeah, really interested to see uh, what it is like. Hopefully they do uh, accommodate powerlifters to a degree. I have already seen that they do have calibrated plates, which is obviously a big win already. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be squatting today. So we'll be just looking at the squat rack, uh, bars and that sort of thing. But obviously I'm not gonna be there being judgmental I just want to see if it accommodates me as a competing powerlifter um, and I am a competing powerlifter because I have actually just signed up for another competition uh, in December so not for a long time but I will talk about that a little more later in the video but as for now let's get into the gym and let's squat <laughs> Said, I don't really need to warm up because it's already pretty warm. Although I do think they've got aircon, which is obviously a bonus. But yeah, it's uh, first time squatting in a squat rack like this, so we'll see how we get on. Seems to be set at the right height, which is already always a good start. Some squat racks like either too high or too small. The floor is a bit slippy, but that's just because it is literally brand new, so it's just getting used to that. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it feels once we get quite heavy, um, but yeah, so far so good. are quite wide so actually unracking and re-racking is a little bit of a task to keep hitting the weight so I don't think I can see a chalk bucket anywhere but I've just had a chat to the guy behind the camera and he said chalk's absolutely fine so the only thing I've got on me is a little bit of liquid chalk so I'll just lather my hands up with that just because the bar is feeling a little bit slippy just because like I said it's very new so it's still a little bit oily so this will just prevent my hands slipping another thing about these bars is it's got the double ring on them and I never know which ring is what in terms of hand positioning because on the power bars normally there's that one ring so I know where to put my hands as stupid as that sounds so I'm just having to get used to hand positioning a little bit kilos for a double. Hopefully. I might just jump straight to 500 pounds. sketchy but got it done. I think next time I squat here I'm gonna try the squat racks down the end because I think they're a little bit less 
claustrophobic for me. But we got it done. So I initially thought that they didn't have any 1.25s or 2.5s, or at least not in a calibrated plate, but uh, I've actually just seen that they have got them. So for the top set, I did put some micro plates on to make up the 227.5, but just as well they do have micro plates because I've programmed myself uh, 186 kilos, so I wouldn't be able to do that if they didn't have micro plates. So I programmed myself just two sets of three on some poor squats. So it's not really very taxing, but it is just a way of getting a nice bit of extra volume in there. And then I'll do a big bulk of volume on leg press because I don't like doing lots of volume on squats because I just find it taxes me way too much. So yeah, two sets of three is a nice little back down set. And then a bit of leg press. Sweat in my eyes. Oh, it's horrible. I don't know if you can actually see how sweaty I am. See how sweaty I am? I'm not sure I like that. So graceful. Again, not quite sure about hand positioning on this bar just because of the two knurlings. I'm guessing it's the first one. That's what feels most natural anyway. Hit this for a single and then top set is one, three, five, four, two. Nice. I think I found myself my new favorite lap pull down machine. No idea what it's called. Brand is Future. It's pretty good. It feels very smooth, good contraction on the lats, and the uh, neutral grip. These mag handles, I think they're called. They're obviously very new as well, so the actual grip is really good on these. Okay, so it's been a few days since I trained at Freedom Gym, uh, so I thought I'd give a little bit of a recap and an overview of my session there. Um, obviously, I spoke a little bit about what I was thinking of the gym as I was training, but um, I gave myself a few days to kind of think about uh, the things that I really liked and some of the things that maybe um, I don't like quite as much as a powerlifter training in a gym. Um, so first things first, the big change is the fact that there's a lot more open space compared to grow room. Um, my ex-coach Matt described grow room as being statically manic, which I think is a really good explanation for it. It's just very cramped with a lot of machinery in grow room. And a lot of the machinery at grow room was awesome because it was really old school machinery. And that's something that has changed as well with freedom. So they've really updated the machinery that they've got there. Granted, I haven't tried all of it, so there might be some hidden and gems there but uh, overall it's very updated machinery which is good and I think that's like tailors for most gym goers but just my personal preference is I quite like the old school stuff that you don't really get in many gyms uh, so that's one thing. The second thing um, is me just being a precious powerlifter and that is just some of the equipment that they've got for powerlifting and obviously they've got the calibrated plate that's always really good they've got the powerlifting platforms they've got benches but they've got squat racks. So they haven't got combo racks, which is absolutely fine. Um, that's just my personal preference, again, for squatting out of, and I don't really like squatting in a cage per se. Um, but there are some racks a little bit further down in the gym, which I am gonna try, which are a little bit more open space. But that's the only thing that I didn't really like. And the only other thing is they don't have power bars. Um, and obviously I'm saying all of this uh, when they've only been open a few days, I do understand that they are trying to get more equipment in. So whether power bars or different types of bars are on the agenda, I don't know. Um, but I do know they have got a squat bar, so a 25 kilo bar, and I think they've got some deadlift bars as well. So they have got a little bit of variety there. Um, but obviously being a IPF power lifter, um, we just use power bars and I don't think they have power bars from what I could see. So that's the only thing and that's just me being super 
um, precious and specific. Obviously, I've got a competition coming up now in December, um, so I want to be training on competition-specific stuff. So obviously, the calibrated plate is great, um, but ideally, I do want to be using a power bar, and obviously, they've got that down in Trojan. So uh, to be honest with you, I think I am going to be doing most of my training at Trojan anyway, because I'm not going to be moving to this area or like near to Freedom Gym for a little while anyway. Um, so that's not too much of an issue, but it's more for like future training if I do want to train there. But like I say, they might be updating their uh, equipment at some point, and I don't know how sort of flexible they are in terms of listening to members and members' input about what sort of equipment goes in and out. Um, so I'll have to wait and see there. So in terms of the atmosphere, the atmosphere was pretty decent. Obviously there was quite a lot of people in because it was just a new gym, a lot of people trying out the equipment. The staff seemed really friendly, that's obviously a big bonus um, going in, they're very welcoming and the fact that um, I couldn't see a chalk bucket, I went to go and ask the guy if I can use uh, my liquid chalk and he said that's absolutely fine, crack on. Um, so they seemed really chilled about that because obviously that's quite a big thing as a powerlifter as well, was using chalk. Um, so that seemed really fine, they seemed really friendly and just chatting to people coming in, it seemed like they were showing people around so yeah from that point of view in staffing that seems really cool so another big change is the fact that grow room obviously was a 24-hour gym but I think freedom is now setting um, set times uh, I'm not actually sure what the times are I think they close at 10 and maybe open around 6 um, which is fine for me anyway because I only really train around late afternoon normally anyway so that's not a big issue for me um, but I just know that some people do train in the evening people that do night shifts and they're always after a good gym which is open 24 7 so uh, that's just one change but that doesn't really affect me Right, so annoyingly my camera decided to cut out when I was doing the outro, so uh, just going to quickly summarise some of the points I was making there about the gym. So obviously it is a little bit more open than Grow Room was, uh, it's even got a bit more of like a functional stretching area with an Astro track on it as well, uh, for like sled pulls and sprints and that sort of thing, so that's quite a cool addition. Um, I definitely would say that it kind of tailors towards... I don't want to say your average lifter um, because it's definitely a step up from say like pure gym and leisure centers and that sort of thing but um, it's not as specific as grow room was in terms of tailoring specifically for bodybuilding and powerlifting it's definitely a little bit more inclusive I guess is the word um, which I guess is a good thing um, but obviously when you are specializing in a sport you want to be using specialized equipment and that's maybe somewhere where it does fall down in terms of my overall sort of um, ranking of it I guess but I think overall it's a very good gym and I think it's got a lot of potential and like I say it's only been open for a few days and there is going to be more equipment getting added in so I don't want to be sort of judging it this early on I'm definitely going to go and have a few more sessions there uh, and just see how I sort of get on with it um, doing things like deadlift and benching a little bit more in there as well um, but yeah that's pretty much a summary of uh, what I thought of it um, so I'm going to sign out the video there guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video, I hope you go and, um, if you are in the area, go and visit Freedom Gym and see what you think for yourself, uh, but yeah, I'm going to end the video there guys, hope you've enjoyed it, please leave it a like if you have, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one, take care, peace!